The team at Liberty Coach has been firing on all cylinders, and when I thought they couldn't get any better, you just made a bunch of improvements on 908? Yeah, we have. You know, we try and always listen to the customer base as far as that goes, and right here we have a brand new 2024 triple super slide with the supers in the rear. It's a bath and a half unit. This coach has been built for a client that is on now. This is their fifth Liberty Coach. It's their sixth Prevo. They actually bought a used country coach from us a few years after we had first opened here in Stewart, doing business with them for obviously quite a few years, so we're really excited about how all this came together. Plus, there's some new stuff on the inside, too, that's completely different from what we've done. The owners of this coach had some really cool ideas, and you're really pushing the industry with what's going on here, some stuff we've never seen before. Do you yep. think we could take a closer look? Sure, and also the paint on this, some people might recognize a little bit of it from Coach 801, which was their previous coach, their 2016, which we sold here a couple months ago, actually, at the uh, Prevo Expo. And there was some of that transition to this coach as well. A lot of work here. This is just really a special coach and a special paint mm -hmm. job just on another level. Before we take a quick look at this coach, I heard a rumor that a new body style yep. Liberty coach is available. Yep, coach 904. It's an unfortunate situation there as far as that goes with the client. As far as illness, we've brought that coach in. That's going to be a super piece for people. 3,600 miles on it. The only mileage is from Canada, North Chicago, then to here, and then to the RV resort it was at for the winter. That's a special unit for sure. Beautiful coach. Yeah, very rare opportunity mm -hmm. for a new body style Prevo to yep. come on the market. And we did do an in-depth tour on Coach 904. We'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. If you do want to check out 904, that is oh, yeah. available. And uh, serious and qualified buyers better get a hold of Frank pretty quickly because that's a rare opportunity. I think so, for sure. First bay here. So we've gone to a blackout look now in the bays. We've gone to handles now on the on the drawers and the doors instead of the ring pull. Nice self-closing drawer slides, nice metal boxes yeah. so it's all going to be very weatherproof for the long haul past i believe it was wood boxes it was actually a foam core and then it was carpeted on either side and laminated and then capped so now we've got a metal drawer box that we make for it with up full undermount slides to it as well give a little bit more room in the width so you don't have the width being taken up by the drawer slide as well. And then it's all done of self-closers also. Again, the carpet change down here as well. Make that all work together so it's more of a blackout look. So that'll be what you'll be seeing moving forward here from 908 onward. The second bay here on the passenger side, same thing here as far as the new drawers, the charcoal finish. Client wanted to do an additional ladder here with the storage for it. Have the 65-inch uh, traditional TV on the slides mechanism that Liberty Coach manufactures. Even though recovery on the back, I'm still doing really good. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was going to ask. Uh, you're moving around pretty uh, good today yeah. compared to the last time we saw you. Five weeks in. Good to hear. <laughs> Entertainment center here. All the new drawer boxes, the new drawer pulls, handles, done with an iPad down here. We've got the refrigerator unit here. Drawer storage throughout. Really cool look from our traditional. Yeah, and when we pulled this coach into the building, we had all the lights off to show off the lighting, and we were able to just grab this tablet to put the awnings out. It's got the huge patio awnings. Well, what all can be controlled from this tablet? Well, you can control all of the functionality as far as the interior and exterior components of the coach. No different than if you were on the inside. So that's just an additional iPad mini unit from what we have on the inside to control everything on the coach. When you're putting your awnings out, you can kind of take this tablet and walk around the coach, make sure you're not bumping into tree branches. Right, exactly. Here. Easier to do that. Plus, we also have the second bay here. We have the buttons to be able to control it from its own system as well. If you do have a hiccup here, then you can still control it from their own system. The exterior lighting on this coach has a lot of lighting that we don't see on every Prevo. Mm -hmm. Is that done by Liberty Coach? Or? Oh, sure. So the undercarriage lighting, a lot of coaches have that. There's options there that you can do multicolor or whatever color you'd like to do. We also have the lighting that's inside the awning package as well. The lighting that you see that's on the side that mounts about mid-height around the coach, and like these lights that are down here, these are custom made for Liberty Coach. So we had those done by a company here in Florida, actually, I guess we're getting to probably 10 or 12 years with these guys now, but they were able to come up with a naval bronze casting that's chrome plated. They did testing that would be like a 25 year salt spray to it to make sure it would hold up. So this is specific and only will be found on a Liberty Coach. And in fact, on the lens, it says Liberty on it as well. 
and they're an LED unit which is dimmable. A lot of people don't know that, but when you first turn them on, if you hit the button again and then hit it a second time, it'll come on at a 20% dim value, or you just let it go to the full brightness. But we have 13 of these around the coach. So there's a significant amount of lighting that we have going on too, which you'd be amazed how bright it is around here at night. Yes, sir, we were in a resort last night where there were several Liberty coaches and they just light up on another level uh, at nighttime. So client wanted to do something a little bit different here. We've We've got shelving area compartments here as opposed to drawers. Slide out toolbox arrangement. Yeah, that's an extremely clean look with right. the black toolbox and the darker cabinets really flows yeah. nicely. And we come in here, fifth bay passenger side. A lot of different look here. Plus we've got the handle here. Same on the inside as far as the stainless steel, fresh water tank, the aluminum holding tank, the Culligan reverse osmosis system, a 40 gallon stainless steel water heater, and the uh, water pump set up here. You have the ability as all of our coaches to hook up city water on both sides of the coach as well as dump the coach from both sides and the filtration system we have is same and the uh, high powered water pump as well and the tankless water heater for the shower. To my knowledge Liberty Coach has the largest holding tanks in the industry. Mm -hmm. What's the holding tank capacity? You're going to be looking at right around 170 gallons on the holding. So we have black and gray together in one tank and then we have the ability to bypass the gray water away from the tank if you have the ability to do that where you're located. Be it at a gray field or if you have the ability to dump it into a drain without having to worry about doing the black as well. It gives you a lot more options and a lot more ability for capacity because we have the same for the freshwater capacity so then you're just looking at trying to keep the freshwater full without having to worry about dumping all the time. Then come back here on the Prevo rear engine. Pressure washer here, extended hose. We also have the DI tanks which are located in the first bay on the driver's side so the DI water for that to keep it nice spot free when you're doing it. Obviously, you know everything about that. Yes, sir. Yeah, you would never want to touch this coach with anything but deionized mm -hmm. water. This is literally a piece of artwork. And talking about that right here, we see Artist Series number 29. It's incredible what Liberty Coach partnering with Dean Laux yeah. has done. Actually, when we were driving over here this morning, we saw Liberty Coach going the other way. And I mean, like from like 100 feet away, we knew right away it was Liberty. <laughs> There's no mistake in it. Again, have the ability to hook up shore power from the passenger side as well as also hook up for a trailer outlet so this is a 30 amp 220 outlet so you can hook up your trailer to it when you're parked not when you're driving down the road so back of the coach no belt guard on this one client opted not to do that it's the 500 horse volvo d13 1850 foot pounds of torque we have the alternator set up here which you can see on this unit because we don't have the belt guard so you've got two 10,000 kw alternators here running to charge the Volta 58 volt lithium ion battery packs back going down the road. So you've got a lot of energy going through here to be able to charge those units back when you're going down the road. Air conditioning compressor for the dash AC system. So the dash air conditioning system, which is also the passenger and right behind the driver and passenger seat that controls this system here. Your alternators for the Prevo engine batteries for the chassis batteries are located here. And everything is done on either spring tensioners for the belts here, or you also have an air belt tightening system for this assembly, which keeps the belt that is driving that at constant tension all the time, which is something that we speak about a lot. It has to do with the millions and millions of miles that the Prevo chassis runs down the road. And speaking of that, we're at the 100th anniversary of Prevo this year. So that amount of service and experience is unparalleled in the industry. So that's why we have a chassis that works so well for the customer base, no matter matter if it's the motorhome chassis or the tour industry as well. Prevo's reputation is second to none. We've had the opportunity to see other different Prevo conversions. When I look at this alternator back here, it looks like this is probably the most robust, the biggest alternator system we've seen on a Prevo. Are you leading the industry? Oh, yeah. So when we changed to the Volta system, going back to 2017 model year, we needed to have enough energy to charge those 58 volt packs back. So these are 58 volt alternators. Okay, and again, 10 kW, they're 10,000 watt alternators giving enough energy to charge that back, plus being able to run multiple 110 volt or 220 volt loads in the coach for your roof air conditioning systems, for your cooking, washer, dryer. That enables you to be able to do that without depleting the packs down. Incredible paint job here, as we always say, how it flows all the way on the sides, as well as if you had the windows open here, you'd see that underneath the windows it was done the 
same as well. There's a significant amount of work here that's done on this coach. Handles are painted through as well, so there's a really cool amount of stuff here. This coach also has the American Racing wheels from Wheel Pro, and it does have our new hub covers that have the floating Liberty Coach logo, which I'm sure you saw again when you were moving the coach around. Oh yeah, that really sets it apart, and there's just so many details that set the Liberty Coaches apart, and I know, to my knowledge, Liberty Coach is gonna command the highest premium. This is gonna be the most expensive motor mm -hmm. coach in the world, and we've seen some of the stuff like the alternator, but what are some of the biggest reasons that you're able to command such a premium on resale to new over other motor coaches out there? For an example, on a coach like this, on this particular one, you can probably look at, starting with the paint alone, you're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars probably. You start looking at that, and you look at the amount of hours that we put into building a coach, and you'll see in this unit, there were some very special parts that we manufactured in-house, which takes a significant amount of time. So you've got a lot of hours, well over 10,000 man hours to build the interior of this coach. Anybody that has their own businesses knows what shop rates are and what burden rates are and all these other types of things. When you start multiplying that by that amount of hours, it's extremely expensive. Once you go through that, now you have to do the components that are inside the coach. We build so much redundancy in the coach for Wi-Fi to push buttons, every component that's there, all of that adds up significant dollars. So it's not hard for you to start really seeing three to four to five hundred thousand dollars just in raw cost figures above what the other converters have out there without a doubt so that dollar figure has to be able to be carried through the resale side as well and because we are one of the only ones out there that actually goes out and purchases our units back we are able to control that resale value and have done so since we've had our own dealership open here you know going into 23 years now that's why we're able to keep the values of the coaches up higher warranting squeaks and rattles to the original owner you probably have to build in a little cost for a sure. service down the road Absolutely, yeah. you do but if you build it right to begin with you really don't have to be worrying about that so much, which is why our coach takes so much more time to build, even though we also have so much of our manufacturing computer controlled or CNC controlled on what we cut, what we build, you still have to be able to design it. And that's something that my brother does. There's nobody better at it than my brother to design and put the interior together on the coach so it fits. And so it does have the worthiness to move down the road as an earthquake all the time, if you will. There's a lot to be said for all that, and it does take dollars to do that. Really incredible the amount of refinement in the interior. When you look at the stitching and all of those little details, there's supercars and hypercars pushing over $3 million. Sure. So to get a 45-foot motorhome with this amount of detail work, I think it's an incredible value I here. Do. Thank you. Fifth bay on the driver's side, you've got the stainless steel fresh water tank polished. We've got a stainless steel cover for the aluminum holding tank, our polished copper drain system for the gray water. We also have the 100 foot hose reel that's manually pulled out. It's electric reel back in. Then we have the hand sprayer which is a 12 foot pull out to be able to wash out the sewer hose and clean everything up out here as well. Sewer hoses are stored here. No blackout package on the sewer bay? No, not on this one. Is that possible? Coach 896. Yes sir. We did the blackout package on that. The fourth bay here, this is going to be the storage tubs that we have in here and we've seen this configured different ways. We've seen it configured with some of the smaller storage containers plus a closet so there's a number of different ways that this can be configured. Generator bay here, the polished stainless steel cover for the generator. We've got the 12 and a half KW Onan unit, but we have the Onan in its own uh, quiet box as well as the Liberty Coach quiet box around that. So we have a very, very quiet and vibration free installation. Standard ladder that we supply with the coach so that you can get to the roof or get to the top of the coach if need be. Second bay driver side, which is all the electronics, the brains, the electrical architecture basically of the coach. So we've got the Volta battery management system at the brains of that system is located here. Our automatic transfer switch watchdogs as far as our switch watchdog, which controls the switching of the power from shore power to generator to inverter power, and then the generator watchdog, which controls the generator starting the auto start as well to monitor the Volta system on its state of charge. These are devices that were developed by Liberty Coach many years ago. In fact, the automatic starting system was developed back in the mid 80s. So we've been doing that way ahead of anybody else for many, many, many years. Then the switch watchdog system came about when we did the Volta system as well. So we had a way to build our own switching system that was 
far ahead of anything else that's out there. Plus, that also monitors the power coming into the coach. So if it doesn't like the power, it's going to disconnect right away to prevent any issues interior-wise to the power equipment that's in the coach. I learn something new every time I spend time with you, but did I hear that right? Liberty Coach originally started the Auto Gen Start? Absolutely. Wow, and yep. that's technology that's, yep. I mean, worldwide. 1984 was the first one. And that just says a lot, you know, of how mm -hmm. cutting edge Liberty Coach is just leading the industry. I'm sure people in uh, 1984 might have thought you're a little crazy. Today, uh, yep. everybody's using it. Exactly. And then we have the first bay here, driver's side. So this is going to be mostly more storage, slide out trays on either side. Then, of course, we have the DI system for the pressure washer that was located in the passenger side rear of the coach. This bay then also has to be heated. So when we do the pressure washer, it becomes more expensive as of an option because we have to then heat this bay to make sure that those DI tanks don't ever freeze if you don't winterize the coach. Yes, sir. Prevo's new 9660 service door. So we've got a larger door here. We have more availability to get to the components easier. Air system down here as well. And then the oversized washer tank that we have for the windshield washer fluid. I was gonna say, you probably have to fill that up about every 10 years or right? so. Yeah. We have these coaches come in on trade and very rarely do we. <laughs> yes, sir. It's one of the things that we have to do is refill that. That's because that's the only time it's been refilled. The Talking about refinement, when we look at this edge of this door and when you look at other motorhomes to see this paint scheme with all of these tiny pinstripes and just so much detail work and then again flowing through the door handle with a slight fade I'm just blown away at every one of yep. these pieces of artwork, just incredible. And then this also then has the blind spot detection system, which has been on our unit since 2021 on coach 865. So there's three radars that run down either side of the coach. Those then need to be painted and they have to be painted special because the thickness of the paint can only be so thick and the metallics and they're on there have to be challenged as well so they don't upset the radar system. Uh, yes, sir, and then again, Dean is bringing that intricate paint design with the art of removal through that blind mm -hmm. spot detection system. Just incredible. So we didn't touch on it when we were around the back, but this is the new 9660. So we've got the sloped front end now on the 9660. We have the new caps on the front and the rear that Kurt designed. And it enhances what Prevo was trying to achieve with the additional fuel economy, plus the way the back of the coach is done will also keep the coach cleaner. And it also reduces the drag on the back of the coach as well. So we have taller windshields, taller windshield wipers. This coach has the E-mirrors as well as the exterior remote control mirrors. You've got both there as well. The frunk unit, which opens up here to be able to access the synchronous windshield wiper motors as well as to get to the dash blower system for the heat and air conditioning to get to the filters for that as well. And then our Liberty Coach fascia that's on the front here, which incorporates the new backlit Liberty Coach logo. The bumper folds down here like it did traditionally before. Four. We still have the storage behind there as well, but now the bumper is in three pieces as opposed to one. So if you do damage a section, you don't have to redo the whole skin. This paint design there is just so much intricate detail work in every square inch of this coach. This front end just really yeah. commands your attention. There's no question. So there's a lot that was done here. So it makes it a lot quieter going down the road, even though we always had a very quiet coach. It's really amazing the difference from coach to coach. It really yes, is. And I think there's a few cool things on oh, the yeah. interior that we're excited to show the folks. You think we can take a look inside? Absolutely. Let's do it. So another stunning interior with some really different yeah. stuff. But I noticed on these front captain's chairs, another different style of design with a two-tone. Yep. What's all going up front here? In the well, cockpit? this is a completely different pattern that was done specifically Kim and Kurt and the client designed that Villa ended up putting together for us. So they hand walked this all the way through the process. So there's some really special stuff going on with the stitching, with the diamond design, everything. That's really cool. The client wanted more sound in this cockpit area. So there's tweeters that are mounted right next to the headrests on the driver's seat, the subwoofers right behind the driver's seat. So there's a lot of enhancement that goes on here with the stereo system in the front. And then this is the updated dash with the new 9660 shell. Liberty Coach did a complete update. This whole transition to this, which was the front and rear caps, the front nose piece, 
this whole dash. This was two years essentially in the making of really my brother just in design mode for that complete time frame and then to get the parts done properly and then to get them shipped in and there were supply chain issues one way or another so this was a big big project all the way around and the end result here is something that nobody else in the industry has you've got such a functional dash here that has your switches are just perfectly located here you've got the big iPad here so you can control everything in the coach below it you have a nice 10 inch display here which can be your airplay or Android play carplay from the phone which mounts in a nice clamping device here which is a charger unit so everything is just right here where you need it to be the new 9660 has the new dash air vents that are up higher so you're getting air up to the driver's face up upper chest area where previously it was just down here at the body the e-mirror displays which are right here in front of you the driver and passenger side as well as the blind spot detection units here as well so essentially you just need to be looking straight ahead of you and you've got vision all the way around the coach with the different camera systems that you have plus you do have the traditional mirrors on here as well which if somebody wanted to they could leave those off the steering wheel operation of it is significantly different with the uh, pedal arrangement as opposed to it being air operated like it was previously so there's a lot more that we can do here we also have a really great hands-free system for the telephone which is really directional as opposed to it feeling like you're inside of a toilet bowl if you will trying to talk on the phone so it's a whole different experience all the way around yes sir and so many little details Details like this light strip here as mm -hmm. well that just sets the look off to another level compared to other coaches out yeah, there. Yeah, and we have a red light strip that's underneath on either side here so that it's easier to operate at night should you need to turn a light on in here so those are red in color which doesn't upset the driver's vision or or the clarity as far as seeing out the windows yeah so as we come into the salon a lot of folks have been asking us to put down this front tv here really cool design the way that tucks in when it's closed up but uh, what's going on up front here on the 9660 chassis when you look at the profile of the outside of the coach there's no longer the step down from the cap okay so it's a completely flat roof going all the way forward to back so with that then this then changed to have more room up in the front of the coach for the TV to go up further and then we got more angle on the swing of the mechanism to be able to have more room coming in and out of the coach as well so now the whole living room area of the coach looks to be like four feet longer because it's all at the same level and then when Kurt did the design work here that whole soffit arrangement and the lighting all transitioned with it as well. Yeah, that extra headroom here really makes a difference. And then, you know, getting in and out of this coach, that TV isn't yep. even a thought. So. Right. I'm noticing a nice contrast between the light and darker mm -hmm. colors. Just such an incredible design. Yeah, there's a lot of, of work here that went on between Kim and the client all the time going back and forth with design work. Even when we sat down for a couple of days in North Chicago to set it all up, there was more that came after the fact. I mean, we have no handles up here on the uppers. This is a completely different agate backsplash as opposed to having you know so much more going on. This was done completely different. So the design there, when you look back at other ones, this is really special. Other things that are happening here with the countertop, the style of the countertop, of course you have the waterfall edge here. All the doors, these drawers are all wood. Dinette arrangement here being an L-shaped booth. This is a, a booth that we specifically built. This was designed with Kurt and the client together. So the base of this is built by us. And so this is a full cabinet that's down here. We at Liberty Coach did the cushions and the seat sections as well. This table is all new for Liberty Coach also. It is the first one that is swiveled. Nice. Okay. Now, when one would notice on this swivel mechanism, this is not a plastic swivel like you'll see on other manufacturers that are out there. This we machined in-house, just like we do our TV slide out, all of that. This was machined in-house, so it's not going to sit there and rattle and squeak, or is it going to want to spin going down the road? So this completely different setup here, much higher quality. Looking at this arm that holds that table, it's a much more robust, industrial-looking uh, arm than exactly. some of the other ones I've exactly. seen. Exactly. It's not going to have any issues one way or another. There's a lot that was going on here on the back as far as the feature wall here, the tile arrangement here, all the different textures that are going on here as well. It's pretty sweet. I think that's got to be the, about the brightest white recliner and sofa I've
I've ever seen. I'm afraid to touch anything because it's so pure. What's going on up front here? This is the extended galley arrangement, which then we've seen a lot of these now, eliminating the forward chair and doing a desk cabinet arrangement with a single recliner, giving more room here for a more usable galley. Bigger pantry, we can see that here in a little bit, but it gives a lot of space here. You've got to pull out here to be able to put a laptop on if you want to. We have a cabinet down below for a printer. Also the uh, audio video processors there as well. You have storage up here also. You've got storage in here. And driver's cabinet, both sides here. Up in the upper here as well. Couch on this one goes down to a bed. It's a switch, so it jackknifes down to basically a double bed. So you've got a lot of options up here in the front of the coach. And then one thing that Liberty Coach really knocks it out, out of the park at is the lighting, all of the indirect lighting in so many different places in the coach really ties together well. What's mm -hmm. your philosophy with lighting? We always like to have as much lighting in the coach as you can because there's so many of them that you get into that feel like you're in a cave because the lighting is not the right color or there's not enough of it. And then especially with the feature lighting, when you turn off the ceiling LED lighting, then you've got the other LED lighting in the coach that really gives it a different mood, completely so. No shortness of light no. in these Liberty coaches. No, if you get the bill on this one, you buy all the lighting in here, you'd have to sit down. It's expensive stuff. All of those little costs mm -hmm. all add up and, and exactly. they really show in the end product. Going into the galley here, are there specific appliances that Liberty coach yeah. uses we use a wolf induction cooktop here uh, client wanted to do an espresso unit as opposed to doing the keurig we've got a mealy uh, microwave convection oven here as well this is 220 this is 220 as well this can be run off of the inverter system we didn't really touch on that but we've got three 5,000 watt inverters on board the coach so two of those inverters can be piggybacked together so you can run your 220 volt equipment going down the road you're really not running the generator on this coach at all going down the road because the amount of alternator power that we talked about that we have can run all that with zero generator going down the road when we get these coaches in that are four and five years old, the amount of generator hours is very minimal compared to what we used to see in the past. You're the only one in the industry doing triple 5,000 watt inverters. We see a lot of coaches, but I don't know anyone else doing that. Right. That's just another one of those expenses. There's no question, no yes. question. So we get into here, we've got nice pantry area, pull out shelving in here. A lot of stores throughout the coach. People always say that in the comments. You know, we've got a significant amount of storage throughout. Nice lining on the floor of the cabinet to keep it quiet. Again, this is another reason we don't have squeaks and rattles in our coaches. Yes, sir. Here as well. Nice storage areas behind, underneath the cabinet. This lining on the floor here is a little bit different because typically people will store their soaps and that type of thing. If they spill, what have you, it's easy cleanup as opposed to some of the other materials that would go on the floor. Nice cutlery drawer here. Nice engineered around the drain of the sink to be able to utilize all the storage that we have. That dovetail Dovetailing. construction, yep. just a lot of intricate detail work. No question. The storage underneath the dinette that we built as well. A lot of stuff that'll go in there that you'll never remember you have. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So another thing that was done here, the traditional Jack and Jill bathroom arrangement, this aft door was angled back. So the client wanted to be able to make that straighter so that it would give more room in this mid bath for a larger countertop sink area in here. So you'll notice that when you come through here as well. Beautiful design in the half bathroom with that backsplash that ties in the exterior colors. Just incredible. Solid doors. Yes, sir. And no rattle. Yes, sir. It's so two-toned, it almost looks like a piece of furniture built into the coach. We almost walked right by exactly. the refrigerator here. Refrigerator's sitting right here, so you got a double door refrigerator here on the pantry. It's a style refrigerator, and then the freezer drawer here with on the top here, then we have the ice maker. What brand of refrigerator? Fisher Pickel. Fisher Pickel, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yep. We have the Bosch washer dryer unit here in this uh, behind this door this now is the super suite so you've got two super slides in the bedroom so we have the super suite arrangement big closets on either side of the bed big deep drawers significant storage here nice storage on either side closet this is part of the dyson stick vacuum that's built in so that unit we actually built in here nice drawer space on the bottom of the closets on either side plus the mirror the mirror on either door so you got mirrors on both sides plus we've talked about the stiffener 
that we do on our doors as well. This is something that we manufacture and have done for years and years and years, painted to match so it keeps the door straight over a long period of time because mirrors and other substrates that go on to these doors typically over time will cause creep, will cause them to bend or bow. This will stop that from happening. So you'll see that on many Liberty coaches throughout the years. I know you've, Andrew, have done videos on coaches that have been 30 plus years old and you'll see that there as well. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Our camera guy, Eli, saw an 80s uh, Liberty coach recently and was just blown away at the quality. Uh, we've got a big Liberty coach fan here holding the camera. So. <laughs> That's nice. In here, we've got nice drawer space underneath as well. So this client, this typically is where the hamper is. So they decided not to do the hamper and wanted additional drawer space. The nice drawers here on the passenger side super slide. So they got lots of good storage throughout plus on either side of the TV as well. A nice 50 inch TV here, nice window, windows open on both sides. So you've got nice cross ventilation if you want to as well. And even though we've seen this before, with the windows, with the painted vinyl on it, you can still see through it. So you still can get light through there as well. This was a little different with the mirror arrangement. And then of course the aft bath with the big lighting that's in there on the mirrors. Yep. Very well lit and then a very large shower. I think we've got to adjust, like he's adjusting the lighting to, to handle all of that light right now. But uh, is this shower a little bit bigger than it some is. of the Liberty coaches? Well, no, this is the same size oh, that we is. always do, right? Okay. For the uh, aft shower, yep. Thick door, you know, most of the stuff you see when you pull on those doors, they want to shake. That's a nice solid glass door there. Nice tile arrangement here as well. And then a little shelf over there for putting your leg on there if you need to. The shower pan is our traditional stainless steel pan that we build in house so that that stainless steel pan sits on the floor and then we mud that, do the tile work. Then we have the rock board that's around the shower so no water can penetrate out of the shower unless it comes out the door. It's one of those things in a lifetime workmanship warranty? No question. No question about it. Yes, sir. And I've just got to compliment these backsplashes <laughs> that you've been doing on the walls of the shower and in like the shampoo area holder. Just, just an incredible piece that just sets it off to another level. And yeah, we didn't even have the lights on, but you can see, you know, when you light that up, just so bright inside of that shower and uh, with all these light colors with the nice contrast with the dark cabinets just gives it such a nice feel in this coach. It's amazing the way the backsplash behind the sink ties in with that shower backsplash. Just so many incredible details in this coach. You know, we have access for our main electronics as far as the audio video is back here. This particular coach has no satellite HD or in motion for direct TV. This is going to be streaming only through Starlink or cellular based streaming. So this is going to be a departure from that. So we're seeing more and more of that coming up. Well, people are watching YouTube now. They don't need network television anymore, right? Exactly. Yes, exactly. Sir. Now, I know your time is very valuable, but I've got to ask you a question. You mm -hmm. mentioned Liberty Coach designing automatic generator start, which is a, a term AGS. It's a, a well-known common feature on RVs. Mm -hmm. What caused Liberty Coach back in the 80s to start that system? For so many years prior to that, most of the heating systems that you had in the coach and refrigeration systems in the coach were all propane based. So your refrigerators were three ways. They were DC, AC, and propane. And then you had propane heat. A lot of the stuff was built that way. So when we transitioned away from that and went to either forced diesel fired furnaces, forced air furnaces, or into what we have today, which we started way back in the 80s as well, of the hot water hydronic heating systems, then you were using a lot more battery power and then transition then into inverter. Everybody wanted inverter power, wanted household refrigerators. When you start doing all that, you have to make a balance of what you're going to put in for battery power. Okay, you don't want to load up the whole coach with batteries because number one, you can't carry it all. Number two, you eat up all your storage space. So how can we have something that performs all the way around? So let's be able to start the generator automatically when the battery voltage goes down to a certain level. Wow. It doesn't sound like a big deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It doesn't sound like a big deal. At that, it was a big deal. So yeah, we designed our own systems to be able to do that. And you know, in today's world, when you look at it, they were pretty antiquated, but I'll guarantee you, 
there's some of them that are out there still running with those same original systems with the time delays and everything else because we had to preheat the generators because they were diesel fired like they are today. So you had to have preheats to them. You wanted to make sure that they started in very extremely cold conditions because that's what we were looking for is to be able to keep the heating system working in the coaches. So when it was 40, 50 below zero outside, we wanted to make sure that those systems were gonna start. So we were heating not only the fuel, but the air intakes and all of that at the same time. So all those components had to be looked at together. So that was all a part of what we did back then. That unit transitioned back in the, then into the 90s to something that was more solid state printed circuit boards, what have you, and then into what we have today, which is extremely complicated. Really cool to hear the, the history of that. I really appreciate you sharing that wisdom with us. And I know you're extremely busy here. I've got to ask, what's the current backlog if someone wants to order a custom Liberty Coach, and what's the current inventory here? Uh, currently, we're looking at July of 2025, which would be a 26 model unit. That unit could be configured anyway, double, triple, quad at this point. We've seen a pretty good run on used coaches here recently so we're pretty excited about that so we're turning some inventory over pretty well one of your favorite ones that was out of arizona we believe we've got that unit oh. sold so oh yeah that, that's gone before the new one comes in so that's always a bonus uh, there's a lot of stuff that's been moving around so it's really it's been an exciting couple of months here well we really appreciate the opportunity to see the latest and greatest and can't thank you enough for sharing so much of your wisdom with us now if someone's a serious and qualified buyer and want to purchase a coach who can they get a hold of well the best way to do it is to go on the website libertycoach.com you can go on the individual coaches that are there fill out the form it comes in i then see that and distribute it to the sales guys they'll get right back to you you can also email coach sales at libertycoach.com or of course call in 800-554-9877 we have another company here as well which is the motorhome exchange so the motorhome exchange has a separate website the motorhomeexchange.com and that's going to have equipment that's going to be outside of 10 years of liberty coach production plus the units that are non-Liberty Coach that we have in inventory as well. So always take a look at that site as well. It's got some good stuff there. It goes through our shop the same way, or it can be sold as is, either way you want to do it. But that's done a really great job for the company overall and for the customer base also. Frank, we really appreciate the opportunity and a huge thanks to the owners of this coach as well for the opportunity for us to see this. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and we hope you're all having a great day. Thanks Thank again. you very much for watching and keep the comments coming. Awesome, thanks.